the pull-ups. At that top position, we don't want to be rounded forward, and we should have our chest pretty close to our hands at the top. The first exercise that you can try for the pull-ups is an isometric hold at the top. I'm going to jump up, but you can use a box or something to make that jump a little less high. So you're going to get up to the top position, and all you're going to do is hold this position without letting your low back arch. Some people find pointing the toes down helps engage the glutes, which will prevent you from extending that low back a lot. So you're going to hold this position. From here you can progress to let downs. And then we can also progress to band assisted pull-ups. I should also mention that this is a neutral grip. There's also the wide grip or the, uh, the palm space in your version as well. So I get a band attached, one knee in or two knees in. Same top position, chest is close to the hands and then good posture. I'm not hyperextended and my shoulders are not forward. At the bottom, you're going to stop just short of that dead hang position here. Okay? So a little bit shorter than that. From there, you can ditch the assistance, then just do normal chin ups, or you can add resistance once normal chin ups get easy. Here's the dumbbell. You can put it between your knees, probably easiest is between your feet. Same motion. 